believe it the first time, I had 180.4, so I went, no, 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 I'm lighter than that. Went again, got 180.2. I'm going to go again and see if it gives me below 180. I'm, I just want today to be the day that we get below 180. One more try, here we go. No, unfortunately today was not the day. We have a winner with 180.2 pounds. That is still a brand new low weigh-in. I just wanted today to be the day to go below the 180 threshold. But I'll take the win nevertheless. We've been having daily low weigh-ins for the last three to four days. So I think the scales are starting to catch up because honestly I feel like I'm below 180 now, just definition-wise and all that kind of stuff. But leads me perfectly onto today's video topic. So drop it a like and a comment down below. Let's get started. Right, so let me just provide a little bit more context to what I'm actually saying here. I've got my phone, which has the Bluetooth results from the scales to my phone in order to track it. So, as you guys can see, for the last 10 weeks or so, it has been a very slow, steady decline. But you can also see some actual increases in you know, spike, should we say, in in weight loss, because weight loss is never linear. By that, if you hear anyone say that, I say it quite a lot, if you hear, if you hear anyone other than me say it, it pretty much means that you, weight loss is not gonna be direct loss of fat, loss of weight, loss of fat, loss of weight, loss of fat, loss of weight. Like, like in an ideal world, that's how it would work and everything would just run smoothly. But life is not so kind. And so you're gonna have what, 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 you know, you just, it, it, it's gonna be shit, right? So I'd say this is a perfect example. It's now Tuesday the 24th of April, 2018. As of the 17th of April, I was 183.3 pounds. So bear in mind that's like only like a week ago, and you know how my body goes and decides to lose fat just like that. This is kind of proof of that. So, and then on Wednesday we had 182, then Wednesday again I had 181.8. 181.6 on Thursday, and then we just crept below 180 with 189, 180.9 on Friday, 181.7, see there's the little spike, we've gone back up, but then the next day we've lost another half a pound, it just makes no sense. We stayed at that for a couple of days, and then from 181 we went down to 180.3, 180.2, where we are right about now. See, it's very frustrating for someone like me who puts, like, I'm living the student lifestyle right now. I am still going out and enjoying my time, enjoying my life with my friends while I still have the time to. But I'm still committing, I am smashing out extra calories. If I, if I know that I'm going out, I use the tread principle, right? I use train, reduce, eat, appreciate, and damage control, that's the D, damage control. I use that, I made it up just to make sure that I stay on track as much as possible and that you guys can follow that. The irritating thing is that you can look in the mirror and like I can even look in the top screen right here right now and say that there is more, you know, definition in the shoulders, there's more, there's just more all round, def like especially here, especially actually capping the shoulders like, you know, th there's there's just more definition there, there's less fat, there's less water weight, everything is coming off slowly but surely, but the scales don't always say it. And so the short message, well I say short message, it's probably half a video now, but the message I want to start off today's video with is don't let it get you down. We'll carry on talking about it a little bit later, but do not let it get you down, just stick to the consistent process, stick to that tread principle if that's what you're doing, because that's pretty much what I'm doing to be honest with you guys. I'm following my macros, I'm following that tread principle, and you know, it seems to be working. So um, yeah. Rant over, I'm going to get dressed, let's get on with the rest of the day. Pause breakfast for a second. We've had a disaster that's just so hilarious. I have to show you. Never leave an open yoghurt tub with no lid on it in the fridge because it will fall on your foot. As I always say, breakfast fits for a cutting king. 
even with cold toast. No good. Couple of tips for this. Whole wheat toast or 50-50 toast, that's what I use. Um, just tastes a little bit better, keeps you fuller for a little bit longer because it's got more fiber. A splash of milk, 20 milliliters if that. A splash of semi-skimmed milk, if not less than that. Um, to bulk out the scrambled eggs, just means you get more for very little calories. <sighs> right. Next task of the day is to actually go to the gym. Um, I am going to train legs today. What flavor do I go with today? Let's see, shall we? Whoops. Unfortunately, had to cut that session short. I've not had to do it for months. Um, as I was on the leg extension, I think I just locked out a little bit too much and felt a little pop in my knee. And I have really shit joints, elbows, knees, a lot. Um, and I just don't want to risk it. It's not the end of the world to cut one session short out of five days. I've not even had to do it for months. So, I mean, it's not ideal because I was planning on burning a lot of calories today, but I'm just gonna cut it short, just, just this once. Um, we're about longevity, at the end of the day, I want to be doing this until, you know, I physically cannot do it anymore, and I don't wanna push my luck, fuck my knee up, and then never be able to train legs again. So, I, might, I know that might sound a bit drastic, and it might sound a bit OTT, but, you know, at the end of the day, these things do happen to people. I don't wanna be one of those people, so, just taking a little bit extra care today, and, yeah. Thank you. Got the bus to and from the gym today. Feel a little bit bad, I'm not gonna lie, but it's been f***ing it down with rain for the first time and it's just miserable, so uh, that's what I miss about the home gym. You don't even have to go outside and you literally just walk in to paradise. I miss it. Not even any point in doing the hello thing anymore. I know no one's gonna reply. Right. On the way home, I actually purchased a brand new hard drive. Um, it's a point, you get to a point as a content creator, as a YouTuber, or you know, whatever you want to call this kind of thing, this weird thing that I do. You get to a point where you literally run out of space on your laptop, you run out of space on your hard drives and everything, and you're like, fuck, I've got to buy a new one. So I've already gone through one, two hard drives, and my entire laptop. So it was time for a new one. One terabyte and it was 55 pounds. So not too bad really considering that'll last, you know, a year. So here is iMovie and here are the latest videos that I've made um, and just some thumbnails for them. Um, unfortunately, I did actually have to delete a couple which I hate doing. I mean, luckily they're on YouTube but they're backed up to the best quality normally on hard drives like this. I transfer every single clip that I've ever made, I transfer every single video, every single photo, raw and fully edited, um, so that hopefully one day, maybe in five, ten years, if I'm still doing this whole YouTube thing or whatever platform it may be at that point in time, I can then refer back and have all of this stuff genuinely documented my life for the past few years and I have every single thing on hard drives, which I may need to get a super duper duper backup of every single one of them just in case because technology can be shit sometimes. So transferring a total of 107.63 gigabytes. It's gonna take around about 15 minutes, perfect chance for me to go and get some food. Perfect. Half a tin of beans, tin of tuna, 90 grams of pasta, and some cucumber. All right, everybody, so to finish off today's video, I just wanted to kind of continue on earlier's chat 
Um, and as you can see from the title of today's video, it's called Stick to the Process. And the reason I say that is because this whole 10 week series has been me documenting absolutely everything, good, bad, the ugly, to do with the cut, right? And so in my dieting phase, I've had to lose 10 pounds in 10 weeks, or it turned out to be a little bit more than 10 pounds because I was a little bit heavier than I thought I was. Um, initially, it was supposed to be going from 185 pounds down to 175 pounds. I was more like 190 plus. Um, and now, actually today, this is following day from all the clips that you guys have just seen. Um, and I've actually had another new low weight in. So this is just proof of the f even though, despite the fact I had around about three weeks where my weight just was going absolutely nowhere. Every single day, day in, day out, doing the exact same thing and I wasn't losing any weight. I just trusted myself and trusted the process that I was following in order to continue making progress in the long run. Because at the end of the day, your body's a funny thing, especially if you get like a funny tummy and, or I, I don't know, there's so many different things that I could just go on and on and on about that could affect your weigh-ins. But something even as simple as not going to the bathroom before you weigh yourself can make a massive difference to your morning weigh-in. Just simple things like that, that if you weigh yourself every single day like I do, it can discourage you and sometimes it doesn't always come off at the speed that you expect it to. However, right now we are catching up to the plan, we are catching up to the one pound a week or slightly more than one pound a week, so am I on track? Yeah, I guess you could say I am, but also you could say, well, no, not really, because I could still be doing a hell of a lot better. You, you should always strive for more. But the moral of today's video is to stick to the process. Trust, if you have a coach, you know, trust that coach. Trust what that person says. If you have a friend or a family member that knows what they're doing, you know, take some advice from them and, and just stick to it, see if it works. And um, yeah, the, the results will come true in the end. So that is it for today's video, guys. Drop it a like if you have enjoyed it and a comment down below. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Together we will grow. I'll see you guys in the next video.